it's uh it's an unfortunate reality and i'm basically speaking to you men out there although some of the women will probably glom onto this message i I have recently been dating a woman who, uh, she's one of those YouTube stars and she just travels all the time, but we get together once in a while and hang out. But, uh, she, uh, and she's from the Netherlands and I don't know if all women from the Netherlands are like her, but, oh man, they got, they, they must have a whole lot more hair over there in the Netherlands than we got here. I'll tell you what. Because she refuses to shave. <laughs> now, my legs are fairly uh, hair-free. Uh, I don't know. I guess, you know, because of the Apache blood in me, whatever, my Native American blood, I, it's only 3.6%. But, man, I can't grow hair. I mean, I can't even get a beard, really. I, I grow a beard, and then when I encounter people, they laugh. <laughs> What's that? Yeah, so anyway, I can't, uh, I can't really grow hair, but holy shit, man. So it's a little hard to deal with when you, you're dating a woman who is more like a teddy bear, I mean. Like when we get in bed, and I, I don't really don't have any hair on my lip, but I, when I rub up against her, it's like rubbing up against a teddy bear. And I'll tell you, that doesn't do much for uh, excitation, excitation, Wh whatever the fuck the word is. You know, I get smaller. You know, as soon as I rub up against the hair mass, whew. Come on, Netherlands girl, can't you shave some of it? You know, and fucking take a take a chainsaw to some of that shit. Just get breed, breed. But she says, uh, you know, in her in her defense, I agree with her. You know, it's like, uh, well, you don't shave. Why should I have to shave? No, she doesn't say it that way. She says. Uh, well, actually, her voice sounds a lot like mine. <laughs> we might have been sister and brother. Well, oh, 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 that's a whole new dimension. Oh, no, I fucking hope that's not true. You know, you're fucking your hairy sister. Oh, shit. But she couldn't be because I'm not hairy and she is. I mean, it's like, you know, teddy bear kind of. Oh, but that's the way it goes, you know. You have to date who you're going to date and who you encounter. And, you know, fortunately, she just travels around the world most of the time. She stops in every once in a while and rubs her hairy legs up against me. And I'm not sure, you know, what to think about it. How about you women out there? You, you think, uh, you think you should just stop shaving? Yeah, you know, just throw the whole shaving regime out the uh what's the window what's the name of that window? there's a win there's a name for that window out the uh expectations window it's something like that uh, but uh you know it is it's a bit of a competition at least until you train us men right you women i mean because there are women who uh will shave Shave everything just before you go out on a date. Oh, I wanted it to be smooth for you. <laughs> oh, I've had lots of those women. Had. Yeah. All right. Had has a lot of connotations, so let's not go too far with had. But, uh, yeah, I mean, you get to touch. But, man, I love these fucking women. <sighs> From North... Western Europe, I mean, this, even if they are furrier, more, they, they have more fur, they, they are big fur producers, uh, 
uh, they could probably start factories producing some kind of female leg fur products. I don't know, but uh, it's a strange thing. I've always liked the women who, you know, shaved. But now I'm into the big, hairy women. I like big, hairy women. Ooh, I wonder what they got in Russia. I bet they got bigger, hairier women up there. Oh, I'm going to go on a trip. I'm going to find the big, hairy. There's got to be one, right? Whoever finds her is the king. Yeah. I've overcome all my fears of leg hair on women and, you know, in the, right there in the center, you know, in the, at the Y. I mean, I remember when I was living in San Francisco, you know, the first time I experienced big, big, hairy women. Uh, had a roommate, and we got drunk one night, and, uh, she was a lesbian, so, you know, it's like, well, that's never going to happen. But one night, we got drunk, and she remembered, you know, she went back to her ancestral native roots, you know, instinct, and she wanted some dick. Oh. And I happened to have one. So I said, hey, uh, Nicole, let's... Uh, what do you think? We pulled those panties off. And I mean, her panties were like reinforced. I mean, I've never seen panties like that. Normally they're kind of silky and smooth. And, you know, they're just, I mean, you love grabbing them with your teeth. And then you toss them aside after you pull them off with your teeth. But boy, oh, fuck. I pulled these fuckers down. They were they were reinforced. There was some kind of like steel netting going on. And when I pulled them back, there was like, woof! And this big old bush of hair popped out. It was like, it was like some afro from the 60s. It's like some black guy jumped out of her fucking vagina. But I tell you what, at that point I was in. I, I mean, I'm already committed. You know, I, I pulled your panties off with my teeth, so I guess we're gonna have to go through with this, even if a black guy with a gigantic afro just went woof. Man, it took some digging. I, I was like, normally you just, you know, put your head forward and you, and you're in there. Oh man, this took some. And I stopped for a while and I looked back and I was thinking about grabbing a chainsaw or a saw or something. I was like, I'm getting in here. I am going to get in here. It's too late now. Uh, well, we fin I finally got in there, but oh, fuck. I took some damage. I mean, my face was all rashed and, you know, I had to go to the doctor the next day and get some bandages and stitches and stuff. But, uh, you know, yeah, a wall of pubic hair, a fucking the wolf of pubic hair, it can damage you if you're not expecting it. So, <sighs> so I think this uh, new girl I'm dating from uh, oh, the northeast of England uh, of... Uh, Europe is, uh, she's relatively, it's better. I mean, uh, she doesn't grow hair at the rate that some, I, I, I don't know where this girl was from. It's like uh, some kind of fucking, oh, I don't know, maybe some ancient culture where they grow hair faster and bigger. But uh, yeah, so I'm pretty happy. I'm pretty happy. I mean, I can get by, you know, a little bit, you know, you just got to, Move it side to side with your nose, and then you can get down in there and, yeah, not a big deal. Uh, and the hairy legs, I, you know, it feels like uh, sleeping with a blanket, a bear, or something. I, 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 you know, at my age, you know, I can rationalize most anything. Bring it, as long as you don't have a dick. <laughs>